Hey there, Wok enthusiasts. Welcome back to the Wokumentary channel, your one-stop destination for all the latest news, documentaries, and intriguing stories from the world of rock and music. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, so you never miss any of our exciting content. And if you're a fellow rocker who can't get enough of the classics, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below sharing your favorite rock bands. Now, let's dive into the fascinating world of Greta Van Fleet and their latest album, Starcatcher. Since bursting into the rock scene, Greta Van Fleet has been a band that ignites both admiration and debate. Their nostalgic sound has enchanted many, but for some, it raises questions about fully realizing their potential as great musicians. Starcatcher, their new album released as the successor to The Battle at Gardens Gate in 2021, reveals a band that is gradually maturing. The opening track, Fate of the Faithful, showcases an identity that evolves naturally from their previous work, reflecting their classic rock roots. Although frequently compared to the legendary Led Zeppelin, Starcatcher reveals Greta Van Fleet's efforts to distance themselves from this comparison while still maintaining their classic rock essence. Moments like The Falling Sky showcase their unique groove and individuality, though occasionally, echoes of Led Zeppelin resurface, such as a harmonica solo reminiscent of When the Levy Breaks. Interestingly, the band seems to embrace these influences with tracks like Sacred the Thread, boldly acknowledging the similarities to Led Zeppelin, yet transforming them into their own distinctive qualities. For diehard Greta Van Fleet fans, Starcatcher is undoubtedly a treasure trove, reminiscent of their previous works, The Battle at Gardens Gate and Anthem of a Peaceful Army. However, for those seeking a fresh take on classic rock, the album might not fully meet their expectations. Despite any reservations about a change in sound, Starcatcher still captures Greta Van Fleet's essence and offers a thrilling trip back in time with tracks like Meeting the Master and Frozen Light. While the album might not completely translate the band's live intensity and mastery, it remains a powerful experience that makes their live performances even more extraordinary. All in all, Starcatcher reveals a band on the path of self-discovery, gradually understanding and embracing their unique identity within their musical vision. It's an encouraging sign for the future and promises even more greatness from Greta Van Fleet. We hope you enjoyed this rockumentary about Starcatcher by Greta Van Fleet. If you have any thoughts about the band or their latest album, share them in the comments below. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you love rock music as much as we do, and make sure to subscribe to the Rockumentary channel for more fascinating content. Until next time, keep rocking!